bars that are full of people full for St. Patrick's yeah. Day, and everything fell apart. Um, and so I think it was almost a given that, well, this isn't, this isn't going to work. And then it just sold way more than anyone thought all summer long. Everybody's drinking at home. Thank you. Yes, you drink 4.5% beer all yeah. day in the morning, and I don't blame them. Yeah. Um, so that that is a success for us. And we have a couple different like variety packs with that. There's a tropical variety pack. Out so nice good luck. I, I Exclusive VIP. So I can drink yeah. yeah. On deck, you. Don't be a stranger. Yo, you don't know me, homie. You don't, you don't know me, homie. You don't know me, homie. You don't, you don't know me, homie. Just like that, that you're dismissed. Miss. Just like that, that, we keep the party lit. The party and lit. you don't know me, baby. You don't, you don't know me, baby. You don't know me, baby. You don't, you don't know me, baby. Girl. Just like that. that. Ivy tattooed. I, Every last one of wow, them. Wow, that's dope. Yeah, it was 40 something all together. Listen, I'm not against this bet. I'm really betting on my. I, do I? Can I prepare for like a few weeks? No. So oh, we're, no, we're I gotta do these. Like, sports. I gotta stretch. Give me like how about, how about six weeks? You six weeks. Fifteen minutes to stretch. No, 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 no. We can make a thing. Out. We'll make some content. We'll podcast. Sixteen weeks. Six weeks. I'll, I'm down. I'll, I'll I'm do the tattoo. This is the one, art one of the deal. The is that what you that right orange now, weirdo said? I'll do the right tattoo now, the right now. There's a basketball Not ball. for a tattoo. Right around here. Sure. Three weeks. Give me three <laughs> weeks for a tattoo bet on the rim. Today, we, Monday, or either the bet's off. I <laughs> the tattoo. Is there a rim anywhere? Is there a rim anywhere? Are we looking for one right now? Let's uh, go. So your great-grandpa your great in the 1930s? Great grandpa was born in 1900. Oh, when he was tattooing in the 30s? In 1916, he opened his own tattoo shop in uh, Chicago. He who was, was getting Who was getting tattoos old. back then? Because before well, he, that, he started I would imagine off tattooing. it was like pirates and shit. Gangsters and sailors. Yeah, gangsters and sailors. Gangsters and, and, and he, sailors. Uh, wait, 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 where was he? He wasn't in Kansas City then. There's he was no in Chicago. Sailors in Kansas City. And he City. tattooed uh, newsboys to get started, paper boys. Because he was a kid. Because he was a paper boy, 16 in Chicago, and he finally tattooed enough of them that he... I don't know if you guys are interested in this. I'm really fascinated by the tattoo culture. Like, how did uh, the Western tattoo culture start with an ink and a, and a gun? Like, how well, did there, that there's start? There's been like, several uh, renaissances for tattoo culture. I mean, we all know about one the, of them like, the was tribal sailing places that ships. Ta they, they tap Suddenly, they, tap the wood they had a bunch guy. of new technology that they could sail a ship all the way around the world when they came up with that then tattooing in the in europe was but as far as like western culture europeans discovered it from sailing ships they okay. got going to asia just like fucking bullshit out there you don't think that'd be great i tend to be the guy okay what was it but you don't get to put that in my mouth I'm gonna play. I'm just joking around man it's yeah, not yeah, real it's not funny man it's fucking real shit nobody thinks it's real they see the smile on like my this face. This is fucking Thank real. You. I'm real. I'm real too. I came up be here to be real. Well, that's what I'm doing. So too. yeah, I can't do Tupac, but jokes. I didn't do that. All that shit you're talking about. I didn't do that. I did what I did. Well, what did you do on him? I did that fifty niggas in the middle of his chest. Wow. Oh, shit. Damn. In Kansas City? No, I did it in Hollywood. Damn. On Sunset, I was working across the street from the Viper Room, right next door to the uh, Rain or uh, Whiskey, actually. Damn. Back in them days, it was fun because I uh, working in Hollywood. I go up the street to the uh, just a few doors up to the uh, Rainbow Room and hang out with Lemmy. And he was fucking hilarious, and I didn't know anything about Motorhead, and I didn't know that he owned the restaurant. I just thought he was a drunk that hung out there. <laughs> that was just irresistible, fun, funny guy that would always come and sit at your table with a big glass of whiskey. And I never understood a word that he said, but he was a fucking cool guy. And, he considered me his friend because it was right there. You know, I ate lunch there every day, so yeah. I used to hang out with Lemmy. Tattooed. Uh... Reminds me of. Have you guys seen the meme where um, people are dancing, professional dancers, but they cut out the music in the back, so all you hear is the foot, the feet squeaking. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> oh, I've never seen that. Is it? Does it make it look better or worse? Worse. It's, worse? it's awkward. Yeah. It's awkward. <laughs> You just hear that, oh, okay. skit, 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 and people are like making moves and stuff. I've seen that with, um, yeah, 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 yeah a college <laughs> basketball game. I've seen that with uh, the Big Bang Theory. Did you guys ever see that horrible show? 
or yeah. any sitcom. Like any sitcom, there's like they'll put on YouTube. They'll take the laugh track out of it, and it is just like some of the most awkward. Uh, it's not even dry, but it's just like they make these outlandish jokes. Yeah, so that's gonna be silent disco tonight, folks. Come out. It's this is like I've been drinking. Do you remember your first Boulevard and how you got, how you There's found no it? No possible way I could. Ever. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, like not at all. I mean, there's so many things, a lot of stuff. You know, they're good. They're good. They're I amazing. Like the pale ale. That's my go-to. The pale ale is your go-to. Wes, are That's you a Boulevard uh, beer drinker, or do you like the harder stuff, or just yeah, the Yeah, I seltzer? do like Boulevard beer, and my favorite Boulevard beer story is uh, I used to work in Hawaii in the wintertime. This dude's been all around the world, yeah, too. Well, I work in Hawaii in the wintertime. It seemed like a good idea. In fact, I, when I go over to Hawaii, I, I get this weird feeling. I, I'm over there to work the whole winter, and when I got to the airport, this weird feeling. It was unfamiliar. But after about the third year, I went over there, started to be more and more familiar, this feeling that I would get. And uh, I felt smart. <laughs> yeah, it felt like that before. Yeah, working in Hawaii. So I worked in the winter. And the coolest thing about uh, Boulevard Beer, man, you walk in the liquor store in Waikiki, and they got Boulevard Beer, man. It's like, that's home right there. Right. There's a, you want to see blues? It's hometown beer in your Hawaii liquor store or calling your girlfriend on the phone in Kansas City and hearing a goddamn train whistle. Damn. <laughs> there you go. DJ Ness, you got a Boulevard uh, story? So this is my first time trying Boulevard Oh, this is your first? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got the Paloma? Um, the and the I got the Paloma, Paloma, yeah. So the, I'm, uh, it's a, I'm a tequila girl. And this I would 100% suggest. Um, I don't know how, what's the percentage, nine, but nine it's fire. Percent. It's fire. Yeah, it's 9%. It's, it's good. It's a good Paloma in a can. Quincy, you got a Boulevard story, a drinker? I'm not really a beer drinker, um, but to plug another product, their quirks are really nice. <laughs> yeah. That's not beer, but it's Boulevard. Yeah. Their quirks are great. Uh, I had their quirk, and I got their flame Paloma. I love a good Paloma. This ain't bad as far as pink drinks go. I'd give it a 6.7.1. Eh, 7.1 on the uh, pink drink scale. Neander Talk Podcast, everybody. This was it. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. An assassin. Not enough eyes on me. Come out next month. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>